We are so excited to have a very special guest with us today. Uh, Peng Cheng is from JP Morgan and leads the big data and AI strategy uh, research effort in New York. Uh, Peng is responsible for developing cross-asset investment strategies, leveraging alternative data and advanced statistical techniques. Previously, Peng covered equity derivative strategies in London. Prior to joining the bank in 2010, Peng was a convertible and volatility strategist at Lehman Brothers Barclays in New York. And Peng holds a master's from UC Berkeley and is a CFA charter holder. Uh, Peng, thank you so much for coming on today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely our pleasure. Um, so Peng is absolutely brilliant and we are really so lucky to have him with us and I'm so thankful and I'm excited for what we can learn today. So I've got to start with, you know, how did you get excited by machine learning, uh, specifically versus you know, nanotech or anything else that could have you know, piqued that gigantic brain of yours? Oh, I mean, machine learning, I think at the end of the day is uh, using whatever data is available and to tell a story. So I think that's something very, very interesting, not only in finance, but you know, across different industries, right? Because oh. the data is exploding. Right. I mean, I think uh, I read somewhere that 80% of data in the world is generated over the last two years. But even you know, before that, we had so much data that was untapped that, you know, yeah. yeah, we want to use statistical techniques to help us understand the world, help us understand the universe. So I think that's something very, very exciting. And when it comes to finance specifically, I think maybe up to very recently most of these statistical models have been linear and relatively simple so they do a good job but i think they definitely do better so that's where machine learning comes in and uh, we introduce a number of nonlinear models maybe more sophisticated models to do a better job at uh, telling the story using the existing data and perhaps with this data we can you know explore maybe more uh, exploration to discover more new data. So, you know, it's very exciting. I know that's, that's so true. And I think even when you consider um, some of the godfathers of our industry, like uh, Professor Turing, you know, being able to tell a story from an extremely opaque or complicated, uh, you know, data set. It's one thing to have a, a granular data set where, you know, you can use some uh, functions and come across with, some pretty you know obvious answers but when you have gigantic semi-related and semi-unrelated data sets finding the story becomes very 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 hard for a human being and so um, you know it, it's, it's a, there's a reason i think uh, you and i both love machine learning so let's talk about how uh, you're using it today yeah, so I think at uh, JP Morgan, so first of all, my role, as you mentioned, is in uh, research. So what we do is we help our clients, which are basically on the buy side, hedge funds, asset managers, portfolio managers within these organizations to make decisions to invest and at the end of the day, help them make money, hopefully. Uh, so I think there's a lot of uh, areas where machine learning can come in, and I think we certainly don't have to reinvent the wheel, but just we can apply machine learning to a lot of the day-to-day -day processes and optimize it. For example, for even for discretionary portfolio managers, they can uh, enhance their decision-making process by using machine learning and formalize their maybe previously relatively discretionary or unsystematic approach. So that will help them and it will help them understand their and improve their investment approach, right? But you know, moreover, for system, uh, systematic investors as well, like I said, whereas before, you may have a system, uh, systematic strategy, which may involve relatively simple rules, but those rules can certainly be optimized. Mm -hmm. And using machine learning, they can be optimized relatively easily and achieve, just based on their experience, very, um, significant improvement and sometimes moderate improvements, but most of the time at a cost that is relatively uh, small. So if you can achieve any degree of it, you know, performance improvements with relatively little cost, why not do it? So that's kind of uh, the things uh, we focus on. So yeah, I can give you some examples if you want. Oh, um, yeah, no, we'd love examples. That'd be fantastic. 
Yeah, so some of them could be just very simply portfolio optimization problems. And as I said, normally or historically, uh, the assumption has been, you know, assets are normally distributed and then we apply mean variance optimization. But more and more, we, we've discovered that this kind of assumptions are not sufficient, right? I mean, you know, what happened in February, March this year or February 2018, just to name a couple of instances just over the last couple of years. So more and more people realize that, okay, we need to account for these kind of higher moments. So whether they are, you know, left skewed distribution or fat tails or even higher moments, um, how do we do it? So that requires relatively complicated mathematics. And sometimes, you know, there's no closed form for solving these kind of problems. And we need more computationally intensive tools to do it and machine learning comes in and it's great because at the end of the day you know all of the problems in finance are optimization problems right mm -hmm. and most of the problems in machine learning are also at the end of the day optimization problems so a lot of the things can can be applied relatively directly and we can see very good uh, improvements oh, very well said I, no, I love uh, I love the way you put uh, a really a very complicated um, idea into a very kind of uh, you know easy to understand uh, way it's you know it's really amazing how machine learning really is just an optimizer at the end of the day it's, it's, it's gets hyped up uh, 